Okay guys, thanks for coming and checking out my video. In this video, what we're going to do is show you how to barrel trim a pin blank utilizing a 6 inch sanding pad that you can buy at any hardware store, Harbor Freight, Lowe's, Home Depot. You will need a sacrificial block of wood. I've used walnut in this case and I've screwed it to my faceplate. And that mounts to the headstock. Screw that in. And when you ever want to replace these, you just heat this up with your heat gun and peel that right off. Otherwise, it stays on nice and tight. You take your Jacob's chuck and you mount it into your tailstock. Lock your tailstock. You need to push your tailstock a little bit forward. So that the taper actually seats into the tailstock. You take your. This is from Rick Harrell off of IEP, uh, which is pinturners.org. It's about 30 bucks. And I'll post a link down below where you can purchase those. This is adjusting, so you can adjust this screw, remove the screw, and put it in either one of these holes. So that this post is either centered or um, off-centered, depending on however you want to do it. I have it off-centered. Chuck it down, tighten it up. And then I take my punch set. This is from Penn State Industries. You can also buy these at Harbor Freight as well and probably a variety of other locations online, Amazon, etc. You locate the punch that fits this brass tube. I'm going to take a guess. That's a little loose. That one's a little loose. Maybe this next one. Okay, it is this one before. Good. You loosen this nut here, and this thing goes up and down to fit that. You match the blank to that so your punch is not sticking out further and you don't sand the end of it. You tighten the nut down, and you slide your blank over that. You bring your tailstock forward. Make sure my camera doesn't want to move. Okay, you turn your power on and you're going to bring your tailstock up to it, lock it, turn it on, and then we're going to just spin this as it, as this is spinning, it's going to be sanding as you bring your blank up to it and it will flush this and this is going to be 90 degrees to the blank. There will be a difference in sound from the material you're sanding till it hits that brass tube and at that point. Uh, you may or may not hear it in the video. If you do, great. If not, you over time and experience uh, in doing this, you will learn to notice that no, that sound difference. Uh, otherwise, if, um, if it's not something that you're able to hear very well, you can just uh, bring it up to it and then take it off, check it. We can see right here that there is approximately um, 3 30 seconds of an inch showing before the tube so you can kind of make an get an idea of how much you're actually going to need to take off if you just want to do it for yourself you can mark a line roughly right here so you have an idea or a gauge of when to start checking okay so i'm going to turn this on bring the tailstock up lock it Start sanding. Okay, so you can tell that brass tube is somewhat shiny, and that means that I have actually gotten that flush. So I was just a little bit off on my line there. That's fine. You will also want to take your deburring tool and 
deburr that edge, and that's done. Look how smooth and straight that is. Okay, harden my nasty fingernails. Been working today. Okay, next, now you flipped it over and you're gonna do the other side. Not quite there. I'm clean that up and I can still see that has just a little bit more to go. I still need to clean out some of this debris right here. So I'm just gonna gently clean out any epoxy or super glue, whatever you use to glue your tube in. Come back to it, lock down the tailstock. Back to it, lock it. 